Hey, it's Nikki Dian. OJ. We are live at the Lanfa Award Ceremony. Oh, yeah, baby. And uh, normally you would see us doing all the interviews with all the guests and all the red carpet and all the whole shebang, the whole nine. But today is not the case. Tell them why, OJ. Yeah, we're going to hand it over to Carla D. Short. She's going to be our reporter for today. And you're going to see her with her interviews right after this. Hi, well, can you tell us a little bit more about your house, please? You go first. You're the superstar. <laughs> All right, well, you know, we both, well, you know, met in school, and then I, well, we, a little about us, I, I'm just like, went as a camera person, and then I did some editing, and then, you know, I started doing some interviewing, then I started doing journalism in school, and yourself? Well, a little bit about me, I've been on a few radio programs, and then I met this guy at school. He was like, girl, you need to come kick it with me. Next thing I knew, we have this show together, and right now I'm finishing up my bachelor's, and we're still working on our program, and uh, I'm also doing some journalism <laughs> writing, but always the Duke and Duchess TV. <laughs> so how we doing? <laughs> okay, what new projects are coming up? Can you let us know that? What do we have? I got it. I just came back from a month-long intensive uh, workshop for journalism, so that took a lot out of me of uh, getting ready to graduate. Um, I know we got some more videos coming up with some local people in our town. Uh, like we do a few cooking shows, different types of segments, fun little videos. This event, other events, uh, anything we could get our hands on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, people from you know all over have us do um, uh, what's it, movie reels, acting reels. So you know. We could do that, do your little uh, cut and splice stuff. Just give a shot. Okay, well, can you give us a shout out and a message and a way to contact each of you? All right, um, I want to give a shout out to Stockton. I want to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my granny, my aunties. Uh, but I really want to give a shout out to Lanfa, the organization, for honoring us this year. It feels so good and so amazing right. to be honored and just thought thought of to be thought of you know I think is a wonderful thing and um, I'm really grateful for this opportunity I'm grateful to be honored as I'm sure Orlando is and King Bassey thank you so much thank you to everyone who showed up here because yes. that would be kind of awkward getting no way to contact you oh, oh, I know I'm just rambling I, I, I don't ever get interviewed <laughs> Well, may we have a way to contact you, please? <laughs> well, if you want to get in touch with me specifically, well, you can get in touch with Duke and Duchess TV, Duke and Duchess TV at gmail.com. Um, or if you just want um, specifics, uh, my Instagram is DJ Nikki D. My Twitter is DJ Nikki D. My email is in Dunlap84, which I should probably change at gmail.com. But if you just type in DJ Nikki D, you can find it on all social media platforms. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, just Orlando Jose on Facebook, Mr. Purple 209 on Instagram. Just Google my name and you'll find me, add me, shoot me a message, and I'll be there. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I Jenna. Sure. Make sure it's one and it won't give me any. If it goes off, there's no password after this. Huh? I guess it could be one, two. You should probably just make it a video. Yeah, just you can always upload the video. Let me catch their attention. This way. Give us a couple seconds. Hey, this. 
you missed it? Hmm? Did you get him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Okay. Hi, what is your name, please? Hello, I'm Ben Cheyenne. And my film is called Reap, and I am nominated for Best Short Film. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about you? About me, let's see. Uh, I moved to LA eight years ago, and um, I produced a web series called Two for Flinching, made nine episodes about that, and then I produced a commercial for the Dorito Super Bowl contest, which placed top 50, so I was happy about that. Yeah. And then I produced um, the short film Reap, about my mom passed away, 2001, cancer took her, and um, 15 years later I finally told the story through cinema. I finally rounded up my people and wrote the script and decided to tell it the way from my perspective. And from my perspective, it feels like the Grim Reaper has come into my home and taken someone I love and I couldn't stop him, even if I tried. So it's, it's why it's called Reap, it's about the Grim Reaper, so. Sounds amazing, and I'm glad that you're winning an award for it and your dreams are being filled. Now, would you like to give a shout out and a message to those that are coming up and trying to get to where you are today <laughs> and a way to contact you? Sure. Um, well, nowadays, like, producing your own content is where it's at. You know, back, way, way back when, like, people couldn't afford top-notch video equipment or top-notch video equipment uh, or the, the equipment they could afford wasn't good enough. So now that people can afford the equipment, they can have people that will come help. <laughs> people that are rising up in the different walks of the industry, the directors, the cinematographers, the, the DPs, the producers, stuff like that. So collaboration, teamwork makes the dream work. And, you know, just don't be afraid to do it yourself. Start with a script. 20 minutes a day, even if you stare at your computer, type, 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 get it. Next day, 20 more minutes. Next thing you know, you have a script. And then be, tell it to one person. Tell it to someone you know uh, it could help you. See if they're interested. And if you get the ball rolling, people will jump behind and people will jump on board. It takes one person to get it started. And then next thing you know, a whole team is gathering around to be a part of it. Because people want to be included in something amazing. That's right. So will you give us a way to contact you? Sure. You can go to my, my name is Ben Cheyenne, S-C-H-Y-A-N. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. And my email is bencheyenne at yahoo.com. Hi, what is your name, please? Mel Novak. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Well, we're here for uh, a Nemesis 5. I had a co-starring role, so we have the screening of that, and uh, I'm getting an award tonight. In real life, I have a Skid Row Prison Ministry, the exact opposite of what I do. Wow. So you have a Skid Row prison ministry. 36 years on Skid Row and 34 in prisons. I, I, I minister to people who are broken. That's right. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's a calling. <laughs> yeah. My website is www.melnovak.com, M-E-L-N-O-V-A-K.com. And uh, my email is nails, N-A-I-L-S, 007 at netzero.net. That's good. But uh, I just finished a movie in uh, Detroit, Michigan called Abeyance. I uh, got killed for the 21st time. Wow, really? 21 times now. I, I played a, finally played a man of honor, integrity, and courage. And I got shot here. Wow. But it was, it was a, a really good experience. They want me to play in their next movie. And uh, I pre there's a... The character I played with Bruce Lee's movie, Game of Death, I played Stick the Assassin. They want to... Here's the co-star in Black Bell Jones. Oh, well, come on in. Could you give us your name, please? Gloria Hendry. I played the part of Sydney. Uh, okay. yeah. And she was and also a Bond girl. James ah. Well, can you give us a way to contact you on your social sites? Uh, I certainly will on my social sites, GloriaHendry.com. That's my website. Instagram. Well, yes, just type in my name on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you. You have a lovely day now. Thank you and for having us. Congratulations on your awards. Thank you. Augusto Gomez. Okay. And tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, I'm from Mexico City, and I'm a filmmaker. And I just, uh, they just screened my movie like 15, min 15 minutes ago. 
uh, thriller, thriller movie. Okay. And what new projects would you have coming up besides this? I'm uh, writing uh, another horror short film. And I'm on writing also a sci-fi and an action movie. Uh, I'm, I think the horror movie I'm going to film in here in L.A. And I hope the sci-fi in Mexico. And would you give us a way to contact you? Oh, I give you my cell phone. It's 5518351616. Uh, uh, and my email is g... To Hello, Duke and Duchess. I'm Amber Lynn. And can you tell us a little bit about you and what you do? I'm an actress, and I also am a radio show host and personality on LA Talk Radio on Thursday nights. Uh, I have a show called Rock and Sexy Uncensored, and I also currently have a movie out on Indican Pictures that is called uh, Who's Jenna? I have a nice little guest starring role in. Very cute little romantic comedy by 624 Productions that we're really proud of at the moment. And many other things. Okay, can you please give a inspirational message, shout out, and a way to contact you? My inspirational message, I guess, tonight in honor of the fact that I'm here receiving uh, the honored humanitarian award is that the key word in humanitarian is human. We're all human and uh, it's all about love and humanness. And I'm honored and privileged to be here tonight. You can reach me on social media at Real Amber Lynn and also at Amber Lynn Media. Of course, my name is Daniel DiCrisio. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do? Yeah, well, I'm multi-talented, multi-faceted, diverse. I'm a award-winning TV personality, media personality, and I'm also in the beauty field. I'm the messiah of makeover. People know me as that. And also movie star, actor, musician, model. We do it all. <laughs> okay. Can you give us an inspirational message, shout out, and a way to contact you, please? An inspirational shout out I will give is, you know what, people? We need to smile more at each other and acknowledge each other and stop with the competition and jealousy. Let's be one together. We're all people. We all came into the world the same way. We all come out of the world the same way. All right? So let's all remember this. And you know what? We are all related, all of us. And you can contact me through my website, danieldecrisio.net. And everything on the Facebooks and Twitters and Instagrams is Daniel DeCrisio. Can you spell your name, please? My name is Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, DeCrisio, capital D, small i, capital C, R-I-S-C-I-O. Thank you, and you have a wonderful evening. And same to you, too. My name is Ify Hollywood. Okay, can you tell us just a little bit about you and what you do real quick? I'm here this evening to present this evening. Last year, I won the Best Actress for a short movie, and this year I'm back again to do presentation. So it's all good. All right, thank you. Can you give us a short message, shout out, inspirational, and a way to contact you, please? Well, um, my name is Ife Hollywood, and my Email is ifyhollywood at gmail.com. I'm an actress, a producer, and also a singer. So if you want to get me, go to Ify Hollywood. You will see me right there. And I'm here this evening to join everybody, to welcome everybody, and have fun with each and everyone here. It's a very good show. I was here last year, like I said. It was fun. So I'm back again this year. Hopefully next year, I hope to come back and meet every one of you here. Thank you, and you have a wonderful evening. My name is Foxy Lola Taylor. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Okay, I'm Lola Taylor, but my friends call me Foxy Lola. I'm an actress and a housewife. Okay. Would you give out a... Um, message for an inspiration shout out and a way to contact you please 
Okay. My Instagram is Foxy Lola at Foxy Lola, and then my Facebook is Foxy Lola as well. Or you can check Lola Taylor. And I inspire people every day by telling them enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment of life, always. That's right. My name is Jeffrey Mark, C E O F F R E Y M A R K. I have a new best selling book out on Ella Fitzgerald. And I'm here shopping for a director for the film. Okay, well, you've already answered my second question. Now, the next question would be an inspirational shout out to the world and a way to contact you personally. The inspirational shout out to the world is let's use Ella as an example. If you've been put down, told you have no talent, told you're no good, don't believe them. Go out there and live your dream. Ella did, despite all kinds of odds. If she can do it, you can do it. Go out there and be happy. We only have one life. Where I'll be, I'm touring all over the country singing from the Ella Fitzgerald songbook. I'm doing publicity for the book. The film will be coming out hopefully in next year. And I am on the board of directors of the Palm Springs International Comedy Festival that's happening this November in Palm Springs, California. Okay, you say you're singing Ella Fitzgerald songs. I am singing literally to her original arrangements. I'm not copying her, I'm not doing drag. I'm, I'm being Jeffrey Mark with my voice, but I am bringing her arrangements back so you can hear live what that sounded like. Okay, do me one favor. Okay. Hit one quick line note of it, of an Ella Fitzgerald that you love. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Boop 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 wow. Catherine Coven Pacino, and this is my husband William Lashbrook, and we are going to be presenters tonight for Allison Amter for the Trailblazer Award um, for Big Bang Theory. Wow, that sounds good. So tell us a little bit about you personally and what you do. I'm an actress and I work in production. I just finished a couple of movies um, about a year and a half ago. Um, one of them was um, Heavy Metal, where my husband was in it too. We filmed that uh, back in Arkansas. It's by FTP Productions and uh, I star in it. I'm, uh, I play the mom. And again, my Catherine. Uh, it, uh, the name is Catherine Coven Pacino. That's how you. Okay. I also starred, uh, not starred, but um, uh, was in Mansion of Blood with Gary Busey and Kalista Carradine and a few others, John Barrymore Jr. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like you've been real busy lately. And ah, well, thank God. You know, <laughs> it's when we're not busy. You know. <laughs> And I have to tell you that uh, at the, in this Mansion of Blood movie, yeah. Kathy had the honor of uh, having the last film shoot uh, with Carla Lemley. At 102, Carla Lemley knew her lines, and oh. she was good. Oh, that's right. Wow. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. She's no now longer that's, with us, no but no. what a lovely, lovely woman. I'm that's telling. that's how I want to die. That's how I want to go out on stage. Well, she, she came up from the <laughs> silence. So, uh, on, you know, that, that's old Hollywood history. That's amazing. Yeah. 102 and knew all her lines. Oh, yes, yes, wow. no, she was. That's impressive. <laughs> that is very <laughs> impressive. I want to be like her. That's right. We, I think we all want to be like her. <laughs> so, how can you be contacted and an inspiration message? Okay. Uh, Catherine Coven Pacino. Um, and, uh, and let me email. say, my email is covenpacino at aol.com, all lowercase, and uh, k-o-v-i-n-p-a-c-i-n-o at aol.com. And uh, my, uh, my PR is uh, Roger Neal. So it would be nice if you guys can uh, give this interview to him. Okay. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the time of your interview. You're looking lovely, I have to tell you, you really are. And we'd like to know, what is your name, please? My name is Paul Drago. And Mr. Drago, would you please tell us a little bit about you and what you do? 
Well, I'm the uh, producer and a composer for JoJo Kid Music. I've been doing it in New York City, now in Los Angeles. And since I've been here, I've been working with uh, many artists and uh, many releases here as well. Okay, would you like to give an inspiration message and a shout out to people and a way to contact you, please? Yes, well, a shout out to everybody. It's all about music, all about the message, and we love to do that. Uh, you could find me on jojokidmusic.com or on YouTube and search for Jojo Kid Music. You'll see all my artists and music, and I'd love to hear from you as well. Hi, my name is David Lockhart. Okay, David Lockhart, could you please tell us a little bit about you and what you do? I am a actor filmmaker and I'm here tonight. I'm nominated for uh, my film Lockhart Unleashing the Talisman and uh, I'm just having a good time hanging out with everybody and all these beautiful people coming together for this film festival. It's very exciting and honored to be here. Do you have anything new coming up and give a message shout out to people? Uh, yeah, just fin uh, yes, I just finished shooting Senior Entourage, starting, uh, starring uh, Ed Asner, Helen Reddy, uh, Mark Rydell, and Charlie Robinson, and Marion Ross. And uh, that was a fun project to shoot. Those guys are amazing uh, icons and put that together. And hopefully we'll keep on going with that one. Hopefully they'll, they're pretty strong, and so we'll, we'll keep going. That's right. I'm, I bet they were some awesome actors to act with. You can see when you're that close to them and you see them interacting, you can see why they are legends. And it's so fun to be a part of. Okay. Thank you for your story. And would you please give us a way to contact you? Uh, yes, you could contact me, rockandrollactor.com, R-O-C-K-A-N-D, actor.com. Marnie Linfields. And could you tell us a little bit about you and what you do? I'm a, a singer-songwriter and an actress and a scriptwriter, and I'm here this evening. Um, one of the songs I've composed, I'll Never Kiss His Lips Again. It's about a young man uh, who commits suicide, and it's based on a true story. Um, it's up for best single, so I'm thrilled to be here tonight with my song, and I'm, I'm going to be performing uh, the song also. We look forward to seeing your performances and congratulations on your awards. My name is Robert Parham and I'm here tonight because my movie Jackson Bolt has been nominated for Best Action Film. Wow, congratulations. Now, could you tell us in a little short bit about you a little bit more and what you do? Okay, so um, it's a long story, so to make a long story short, um, Air Force for 20 years. I was also a former five-time world kickboxing champion and parlayed those skills into film. So that's it in a nutshell. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Can you give a short inspiration, shout out, and a shout out to those who have helped you or been in your corner 100% and a way to contact you? Certainly, certainly. First, I want to say thank you to everybody, uh, Jim Meyer, Ali D'Souza, uh, the whole staff, cast and crew, Fred Williamson of Jackson Bolt. Um, words of wisdom, it's never too late to live your life. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook at robert.parham. You can reach me on Instagram at kickboxing5 um, and Twitter at kickboxing5. There you go. It's Lebo G. Lebo G. L E B O space G E E. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about you and what you do? Uh, my, I'm a student, but I'm a, uh, also a singer, and I'll be singing one of my language songs here. From I'm from Botswana, by the way, but I live here in LA. So I'm excited because I'll be singing tonight for with my language, which I haven't been doing in a while, so it's quite a big advantage for me to be here tonight. Craig Bruss. Vinita Prasad. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and a quick thing of what you do? All right. Uh, I'm an actor, and I'm also producing my uh, first film called Matchstick Flame, starring Mel Novak and myself. Yes, and I'm helping him produce the movie and do the marketing for the movie. 
So it's called the Matchstick Flame, and Mel Novak is one of the stars, along with Craig Bruss. Yeah. And a quick way to contact you, because we have to go in. Uh, the Matchstick Flame, IMDb. Uh, and Craig Robert Bruss, IMDb.
the fabulous Gloria Hendrick. Yes, walk in. This is your moment. Yes. Yes. Gloria, on behalf of the Los Angeles Hollywood Film Association, we are proud to present the Living Legend Award. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm very honored to be here for the Nali Awards. I read about you, the Nigerians. I'm so impressed. Did you know that they are the second largest filmmakers in the world? Yeah. I'm so proud to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Hall of Fame and a recipient of the FSC Lifetime Achievement Award, as well as the Hot Door Lifetime Achievement Award, and countless others. I present to you the lovely and amazing Amber Lynn with the Humanitarian Award. Thank you, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Amber. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Amber. I cannot tell you how honored and privileged I am to be here tonight. I, this award absolutely touched my heart. I know that my work began in 1992 when somebody asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I told them that I had everything I needed in life, but if I could do something that would help somebody else, then I would be willing to dedicate my birthday to that. We had a huge party. Somebody said, there's a youth shelter right down the road that's about to close down, and there's a bunch of kids that are gonna be out on the street with nowhere to live. And that's how it all began. I just wanted to be of service to somebody who needed it worse than I did. From that time, from that time, my life changed so much at being of service. That's it. It doesn't matter where you come from, people, or where you have been. We all have not only an opportunity, but a responsibility to go out and help our own mankind, okay? And we do it with love. There's only one love. I accept this honor graciously. I thank you for it, the Los Angeles uh, Nollywood Awards and King Bossy. Thank you so much. The Film Association is proud to present you with the Trail Blazer Award. and for all you people who want to blaze a trail, well, go ahead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the movie was made, uh, my mom, God bless her soul, she passed away in 2001, and I felt like the Grim Reaper himself had come to my home and stolen something from me. And 15 years later, I made a movie about the Grim Reaper himself coming to someone's house to take from him. And, you know, it's so it's such an amazing, monumental feeling to see all this recognition for my plight and my story. And this is my fourth award on this film. I'm so happy and so grateful. I love you all. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, suspense is a revival of the Golden Age radio anthology series, which ran from 1942 to 62, and even aired on CBS television for five years. In this segment of the Suspense Show, episode 92, a very suspenseful Christmas title, Happy Hacking Whacking Christmas, it's a dark office comedy where Peter Kafari voices the role of the sarcastic Ch Chanel. Vida is a multi award winning actress and voice over artist. She has starred in, in the multi-award winning actor and filmmakers Harley Wallen's events, which featured in variety alongside Scott Taylor, Compton, Richard Tyson, Billy Worth, and Mel Novak. She also shot multi, the multi-award winning filmmaker Dustin Fredro's Horn Dog Beach Party alongside such names as Brink Stevens, Donna Lee Helson, and Troy Foreman from Saved by the Bell. She also voiced two roles in the Emmy nominated filmmaker and animated uh, Dominic Lovesick Films, also starring uh, Lisa Quirkle, Fred Ward, and Julie uh, Morgan, and have his most many commercial narration. Kapari, come out with your award. <laughs> you know, I know Will Clark, you're a lot better than me. He's got the skill. I'm just over the hill. I'm ready for the moment. Thank you. Thank you so much for this amazing award. I'm so honored. I just wanted to thank the hardworking King Bassey, who has so much determination and is a great visionary, and the whole LAMFA organization. It's an honor to be bestowed this amazing award. Also, many thanks to John Alsadek and his team for creating and casting me in the suspense show, as well as to my fabulous castmates. Big thanks as well to my rock star rep, Joe Williamson. Also, many thanks to my extremely supportive and loving family, my mom, Mitra, and my sister, Ida, for always encouraging my acting and voiceover careers. I want to dedicate my award to the brave people of Iran and to those anywhere in the world who have no voice during these tumultuous times and hope they have the freedom they so rightly deserve to express themselves. I am so grateful for this phenomenal award. I am truly, truly honored and humbled. Thank you so much. I composed this song about a boy that I met at 15 years old. He was my first kiss. And um, we went our separate ways because I was too young and all we ever did was kiss. My parents broke us up and in his mid-30s he became a cop. He had gone through a couple different marriages and he committed suicide. So I've written a song um, in honor of him in order to do something for suicide prevention. Birds scream, cries of freedom as Annie Lynn near the dark wall. Nicole has also received awards through community impact through writing. Orlando Jose is a news media coverage and movie production and radio shows, multimedia journalist, entertainment news, social media editor, camera operator for news op reporting DC, TV news, and other networks. Love to our award recipients. Who's got style? We love it. How's everybody doing? All right.
so as you can see, this is why we were so busy tonight. We were honored with the Multimedia Journalism Award from LANFA this evening, and it was truly an honor. Yeah, so yeah, just let everybody know who we thank. We want to thank LANFA, the whole organization. We want to thank King Bassey very much for honoring us, for thinking about us, for recognizing us. It feels so good to be recognized. Thank you to everyone who showed up today because that's what makes it so special is everyone who participates. Uh, thank you to Carla D. Short for really helping us out today, taking over for the interviews and always being just so supportive. Thank you. And our friend Viva Kafari and Joe Williamson. Yes, thank you Vita, thank you Joe, thank you to our stand-in cameraman All over right, here. Right. And uh, thank you just to everybody. Did I, did I get everyone? Yeah, and I do want to thank you know, everybody that came and support events like this yeah. and make them come again for some body. And, you know, we thank everybody. Now, oh, and I also want to thank everybody back home at Stockton who's always viewing us and supporting us. Thank you. And that's a wrap. Mm -hmm.